disorder called obsessive compulsive disorder. So, what is OCD or that obsessive compulsive disorder? OCD is an anxiety disorder characterized by obsessions and compulsions. It means that uh, this kind of order is actually appear because of obsessions, because of uh, because of obsessions that you really need to take into it that you might get relief in order to get past it. So, in the 17th century, in the past, obsessions and compulsions were often described as symptoms of religious melancholy by the influence of the devil. So, it was believed that it was the the, the doings of a some kind of uh, devil. But, in the modern concept of uh, psychology, this man, uh, I believe that Bella knows him very well, Bella, yes, uh, Sigmund Freud, first introduced it as the unconscious mental and physical conflicts that appear as symptoms. So at least there's always an explanation to this kind of uh, urge. So this is the OCD cycle. It works like this. When we get the when we have the obsession to something, it means when you see, uh, for, for, for instance, when, when, when you uh, look at something that is not in order, then you feel like, mm, you feel like angry or fear or afraid or something like that. There are called obsessions and there comes a, I'm sorry, this would be a compulsion, obsessions, and then you, you got the anxiety. When, when you get the anxiety, you feel anxious and you feel like like afraid, like something that bothers you. And then this one is compulsion. And then you will need something to do to do about it. And then you get a temporary relief. Obsessions. Obsessions are thoughts that recur and persist despite efforts to ignore and confront them. It means like that little things that bothers you, that's not in order. And compulsions are irresistible urges to behave in a certain way, especially against one's conscious wishes. So, this thing that you might want to do when you got that kind of obsession in order to deal with it. So, this is some OCD signs that maybe you have OCD too. That when you got the check, you're happier and you're so confused. Did I do it or did I? Or did an I? You didn't know what to do, and you might count the the stairs when you're taking the stairs. You count your steps: one, two, three. There are four or fifteen steps, and you need to see things in order. And you hand washing off too often. Okay, so let's see this picture. At this picture, let's see. There are some disorders that you might find. Uh, a little bit annoying if you got the kind of this kind of disorders. People with OCD are aware of their irrational habits, yet they still do it. Means maybe you don't really aware of that uh, disorders that you have, but that's a disorder if you really want to know. Means that maybe even for me, I got that too. I mean that kind of thing that bothers me a little when I want to eat fried chicken, I have to eat the meat first, then the skin, because the skin is the best. <laughs> so, if you ever do something like this to the smartest, uh, I don't know what it is, chocolates, then you definitely have OCD. This is just to remind you that maybe we are just, we feel like we are normal, but actually we are not. Especially when we know that something is happening with us. Yes, we definitely are not okay. Thank you. <laughs>